I think it's time for us to give out these awards. So oh, first, dummy fact, though. Dummy fact, though. First, we're going to do coach of the year. So yeah. the NBA announced the three finalists is yeah. Quinn Snyder, yeah. Tom Thibodeau, yeah. and Monty Williams. Uh huh. Who do you think deserves coach of the Obviously, year? Obviously, the second seed, the Suns. Monty Williams? Monty Williams got that. And I got the Knicks after, but Monty Williams got that one. I wouldn't be surprised if he did win it. Personally, me, I would choose Tom Thibodeau just because the Knicks were a lottery team. Yeah, and, and nobody. No one expected him. No to one team. expected that shit. And they hired, I think they hired him in, like, the middle of the season. If Oh, shit. Like, a couple games into it. From what I remember, I'm not sure. I might be mistaken. But, and he's always known to be a defensive coach. I think the Knicks are second in defense. So, I would choose. Personally, I would choose Tom Thibodeau. That's who I would go for. But I wouldn't be mad if, if Monty Williams. Yeah, won. Monty did that. Because um, I like Monty Williams. And the Suns did a good job with that with that Chris Paul pickup. Um, which should also be – he should be running for MVP too. And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, he – they structured that team the it's way crazy. that it's they just, are They right just now. added one player. It's the same team yeah. as last year, just yeah. Chris Paul. But I'm sorry, Phoenix fans – you guys are not getting past the <laughs> Lakers, my <Nikki. laughs> My bad, Kyrie. All right, so next award I have here is Defensive Player of the Year. So the three finalists is Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, yeah. Ben Simmons. First of all, are you mad about these la- these final threes? Um, I saw on Twitter, Twitter was going crazy over these three. And who should who should have been in there? Well, they, well they give were me one. Just give me one. Bam Adebayo, Clint Capella. Bam, Those were like the ma- two main uh, ones. Maybe Bam, but nah. These are it right here. These are it. All right. Yeah. These I are agree. the um these are the ones that I know a lot of people disagree with Draymond because of how bad their team was. Yeah, but he still stops a lot of that's guys. That's what I said. He's still he like one of the best defensive players. Yeah, the, really. when you're on offense, you still gotta watch out for this guy. Right. Because he'll either do something dirty or he'll really lock you up. Right. Yeah. Um so my pick, I think I'm gonna go Ben Simmons with this one. Ben Simmons, huh? Yeah. His defense is solid, yeah. you know. Can't hate on you. Can't hate on Ben Simmons. He uh-huh. he want, he knows he's a defensive player, right? And Rudy Gobert, he's. I mean, shit. You you can't shoot. You better do something else. You better be great at something else, my right, nigga. Right, right. So his defense. Sorry, makes Kyrie. Up for it. <laughs> I know we gotta put a tally mark every time you say that word. <laughs> and then once you hit like ten, you you go like on timeout. No, I'm just kidding. I would go Ben Simmons. Rudy Gobert, I wouldn't be mad at when he, he says timeout, ladies and gentlemen. He's talking about not having to drink. <laughs> <laughs> gotta relax. What do you call it? Yeah. So. I, I personally will go with Ben Simmons because, like, the 76ers are, like, one of the best defensive teams. They're a top seed in the East. Yeah. And Rudy Gobert's won it already. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just give it to Ben Simmons. And I'm going to give it to Draymond Green. Even oh, though, you would? Yeah, even though I hate what he did to LeBron. I don't like that shit. All right. But I got Draymond. All right. Next category. Because he's, he's the, you know, I'm not going to say he's a loser, but his team's, you know, yeah. Not there, but he's still putting in the defensive work. And there is a difference when he's not playing mm-hmm. and he's playing. Because the Golden State defense picks up a little bit. Right, right. All it's right. not the heart, though. Here's our next category. Six man of the year. The three finalists is man. Jordan Clarkson, Joe Ingles, and Derrick Rose. Man, you know me. I'm a D. Rose fan. Boy. I love D. Rose. I feel like he's yeah. one of the most loved players, even yeah. though he's not, like, the best player anymore. Is he still underrated? I feel like he's a completely different player now. So, like, I don't look at him anymore. He's really not, David. You know what I mean? He's still doing his thing, and he's still explosive. I think he's not, he's not like, dunker explosive. He's not like Westbrook anymore. He's kind of like. Was he like a Westbrook to you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Is he a better Westbrook? or is No, nah, I think Westbrook's a little bit better because of the triple doubles. Because Westbrook was like that, like, But this man was unstoppable, dog. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a different era. Like, Damn, say, for that's instance. That's a good like, comparison, too, dog. I like that. I I'm like that one. if Derrick Rose never got hurt, he, him and Westbrook would be like. I like that one. No, 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 no. But I like. never got hurt, he would have been better. Oh, yeah, but Way I. Way better. I think six man of the year might go to Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson deserves that. He probably deserves it, but I love Derrick Rose. He improved his game. He was in the finals. With Le- I hate bringing it up because he was so trash in that final, son. <laughs> I hate former that shit, Laker. but, hey. I just like former to see Laker. former Lakers succeed. He was, he was good with the Lakers. He was good with us. Yeah, yeah. Remember, we wanted either him or we wanted well, when there were, things Doing were changing. Trades. Yeah. We wanted, like, remember, it was Kuzma or him. Like, we said Kuzma, though. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted we Kuzma said, at that time. Kuzma well, was the 40 piece. Yeah. Giving us chicken nuggets, all that. Yeah, so I would say Jordan Clarkson wins this. I got Jordan Clarkson, but I wouldn't get mad if 
D Rose got it either. Me neither. Because I feel like D Rose, like especially with this Knicks team, son. Yeah, he's I feel balling. like he's accepted his role. Like I think he's a lot more skilled than what people like. People always like. Remember he he put out that post. Did you see it? Which one? He was he had, had like this long post where he just talks about like how he's a different player. How like he doesn't like when people say vintage Rose. Because he feels like he's a better player now than he was back then. That man's from Chicago, man. That man's the truth, man. Yeah, but shout out to Derrick Rose. Shout I feel out like Derrick Rose. Everybody on the Shot Taken podcast on IG, man. We got a million likes. <laughs> on two, the Derrick Rose video? Two million views of that Derrick Rose vintage, vintage video. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it is. Huh? I just said what he didn't like. Yeah, but- <laughs> Shout out to Derrick Rose. He's like, yeah. He's like, uh, someone asked me this the other day, like, if you were to meet three NBA players, who would you want to meet? And I said Damn. LeBron, Steph, and D. Rose was like my third one. There. Dead or alive? No, like current. Like, dead still or alive. playing. Still dead or alive. Playing. Dead or alive. No, you like. Oh, dead or alive? Yeah. Who would I want to meet? Well, obviously Kobe would be first. Yeah. LeBron and MJ. I feel like those are like. LeBron and MJ? You want to meet MJ? Yeah. Damn, MJ, does, MJ doesn't like hip hop. I know. <laughs> we'll cut this. Hey, I'll off. be like, yo, MJ, yo. Why don't you like hip hop? Nah, man, just listen to that Garage Die China album, son. <laughs> Garage or Die China. I knew he had a three and fifty cent in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but look, um, yeah, Clarkson, boy, let's get it. Yeah, he's six man of the year. He All rose, right, what up? Next category, most improved. I think this might be unanimous. Yeah. So the finalist is Jeremy Grant, Michael Porter Jr., and Julius Randle. I think we can agree it's Julius Randle. It's Julius Randle, but I gotta say. Michael Porter. Jeremy Grant, why'd you go to the Pistons, son? You should have stayed in Denver, man. They need you, son. They need him, man. Well, I think now that if they would have known that Jamal Murray was going to get hurt. But no, nah, Michael Porter's been hooping, though. No, he has not, bro. He's yes, playing he like shit last night, man. Well, last night, but I'm talking about in general. This hey, whole this se- is a big. This is a regular season. This is a regular season award. I don't give a damn, though. I'm talking <laughs> about right now, dog. Like, I'm not. Remember, all right. Yeah, you got to relax. Yeah, I do got to <laughs> relax, but I'm mad at that man right now, so hell no. All right. But it's Porter unanimous. ain't getting that. It's unanimous. It's, it's Julius Randle. He's the most improved player. Julius Randle he it is, man. Be in the former MVP Laker, run. man. Former. That's what I'm saying. Two Tomorrow, former Lakers man. on these lists. And Julius Randle should honestly be on the MVP. And I don't doubt it when he thinks about Kobe doing his thing because that that's, man taught him some things. You dig? Yep. I'm glad that he applies that to, like, what he does That's now. a big fact, though. Yep. I mean, when he got traded, that little hurt him a little bit, you know? Yep. Yep. So I, yeah, that but shit he's might, been that shit, getting better. I, I feel like that shit pretty much brought him down in a way, and it made him a uh, competitive and made him a better player. Because very like, better, very. Because I don't think any player likes being jumped around. Like he didn't, he wasn't wanted by the Lakers. He went to the Pelicans, and then from there he went to the New York Knicks. So and he's having success. They're in the playoffs for the first time since Melo. So, all right, man. Next yeah, category. Yo, and s- shout out Melo. That man was balling last night, man. With the Blazers? Yeah, Melo with the Blazers. And we're we're going to get into that one because I'm going to tell you. And, and I'm still a little mad that oh, – we're going to talk about this a little later? Yeah, I'm gonna, right. I'm, we're going to bring up, like, the brackets and stuff, our right, playoff right, predictions. Right. So yeah, I, I was just that. bringing up Melo because I'm still mad that Denver doesn't give him his, his flowers, like what he did for that organization and how they gave number 15 to – um. Joker and shit like that, you know, <laughs> and that like made me think like, damn, like, yeah. But Joker is they gotta relax. I'm just, yeah, you know, I'm I, I feel you it. know what I'm talking about. I yeah, he did a lot for that organization, dog. Right? All right, let's while go he, on to while he was there. Let's go on to rookie of the year. Yes, sir. So the finalist is our man from Chino Hills. Yeah. Lamelo Ball. PBB. And yeah. then yeah. that's on me. And then yeah, yeah, yo, shout out Chino Hills, man. Shout Chino Hills, stand <laughs> up, man. And then we got Anthony Edwards uh-huh. and Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah. I'm going to go LaMelo Ball. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people are going to get mad, especially all the Minnesota Timberwolves fans. They'll be like, fool, you, need, you don't watch uh, Minnesota yeah. games. Yeah. And I'm going to say this to all the Minnesota fans. I do not watch Minnesota games. I'm going to oh, tell you why. Shit, man. Because you guys are like one of the worst teams in the leagues. Mm. LaMelo was actually leading his team to the playoffs before they got knocked up, before he got his wrist injury. They yeah. were a four seed. That's a big fact, though. That's a big fact, though. But I'm not saying Anthony Edwards isn't a bad player. I like Anthony Edwards. I just think I would – me, personally, I would choose LaMelo Ball as Rookie of the Year. I would rather have him on my team. Yeah. Um, Edwards did ball out, though. Edwards um, – let me just say this. This is a good one, David, because when mm-hmm. the kid got hurt, remember, it, 
it goes down a little bit. Mm-hmm. When you get hurt, you can't you can't show your showcase anymore. So Edwards was balling out. Mm-hmm. And remember, but I feel like Edwards benefited from the injuries on the the Minnesota Timberwolves as well. Because remember, Cat was out forever. That's a fact, though. DeAndre Russell's been that's in and out. That's a big fact, though. And then Larson Pippen's boyfriend's been out. That's Hashtag Malik Beasley was out. Mm. If they were all healthy, I don't know if he'll put up these numbers, though. You feel me? I feel like he'll be a good so part of the team. So you're looking at it like that. Yeah, whereas LaMelo, remember, everyone was pushing for him. Yo, start him, start him. Because every time he was coming in, he was hooping. Which, then, which the coach did a good job by not listening to us. I Yeah, he did. And then... LaMelo earned his way to the starting lineup. They were on a winning record. So that's why I feel like when he came back. That would be my argument. For he LaMelo didn't ball. He didn't have that punishment again. I feel like he was a little free. He, right. was, he was a little juicy. When I say juicy, is he has the juice around his team now. Right. Because of what he proved mm-hmm. he could do. And he makes his team better. Like No, he does. You know what he I mean? He does. Like you see guys running a little harder on the fast break. because That's they know a big he's gonna fact, be- though. And it makes me think. If Warriors would have drafted him, <laughs> they, See, would, they would that, they it, would win those playing. And it makes me think like that. I'm like, shit, Melo Ball is the key to these teams. Yeah, so as his posi- like in his position. And I'm not saying Anthony Edwards is. I got the Melo Ball. I got the Melo Ball. Anthony but I Edwards wouldn't, I wouldn't be, be mad if Anthony Edwards. Yeah, got me it neither. Too. I'm just you saying did? it's my like my personal pick would be Lamelo. Yeah. But I wouldn't be mad if. Yeah, Edwards. I, got, I got Ball. And shout out to Tyrese Halliburton. He's like a sleeper pick. Very sleeper. He's very good. I don't watch the Kings, but... I, I just watch him. I like him. I think he saw it. Because I remember when he got... You got his card, right? Yeah, I got yeah, his card. Yeah, I got I a pink ice... Yeah. Uh, he was excited. Prism. Yeah. He, got exci- he was excited. Yeah, I got a pink ice prism. Shout out Tyrese Halliburton. I'm pretty sure that's card's worth money. But I like... I like because everyone was making fun of his jump shot. When I'll check him out. I'll check him out. He has a funny jump shot? Yeah, he has a funny jump shot, but it works. I got a better jump shot than him? Yes, I do. He yeah, thought yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, next one. The final category... The most valuable player in the NBA. Our finalist is Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, and Nikola Jokic. Man, this is a good one. I personally would choose Steph because yeah. of what he had, but yeah. they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. So the fact that he's even a finalist is like crazy to me. And like I, I said this yesterday, if he would have won, um, the playing tournament. Yeah. If Steph Curry would have beat the Grizzlies. Not, not the Lakers. I don't care. No. Nah, <laughs> of course. If not he would have beat the Grizzlies, that would have been my MVP. Yeah, same here. That would have been my MVP right there. But I think I, if I had a guess, it probably is going to go to Jokic. Joker deserves it. Because he's out of these three, he's played the most games. I got he, Joker. He played every regular season game. He pretty much almost averaged a triple-double. But I'm going to say this. He needs Jamal Murray, dog. Yeah, because he is by himself right now. Like I said, I'm disappointed in Porter. Mm-hmm. He needs help, dog. Which I think that actually makes his MVP case higher because pretty of Jamal. Much, yeah, because yeah. Jamal was out. Because he's he, still dog, he's team. unstoppable. He's unstoppable. Yeah. But he's not unstoppable forever. <laughs> well, I, I would mean, also the, go one, for Joel top, and B. I would also go for Joel and B, but he didn't play enough games. So I feel like that's like that's affecting him. Definitely. But if he would have played more games regular season and they were still winning when he was out those games so i feel like i'm calling it right now i got um joel and Embiid beating the nets oh shit we're gonna get into that we're gonna get to the playoff brackets that's next after all this <laughs> but yeah yo doc you want to get that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i guess we can agree jokic is gonna win mvp but we would have liked to see steph win it just because of like how bad his team was and yeah, it's a big factor, man. But hey, I wouldn't be. It would be so season, funny. Baby. Imagine he did win MVP though, and like I Steph, think he would Steph, get a lot of hate. Steph? Yeah, hate. I think he would Hell get a lot no, of hate because he didn't make the playoffs. He was getting praise, son. When's the last time an MVP won that didn't make the playoffs? I don't even know if that's ever been a thing. Oh, like he won now. Yeah, like if he won, <laughs> like even though he didn't make it to. Because remember, the plan is not the regular. Is that a Steve? Is that a Steve Nash MVP when Kobe was Kobe took him out? Is that that? No, I feel like that would be Jokic. Okay. Wanted, you okay. Know? He'd be like that, Steve Nash. Yeah. But he only because uh, I know a lot of people are gonna say this, like, oh, like his MVP is not that valuable because all the stars were hurt. Back. Which is kind of valid, but I, I, I don't want to discredit. It. Like, you know, you can't blame someone for getting hurt or not getting hurt. So that's like my reasoning. That's definitely. But we'll see. Because remember, Steph's the first unanimous MVP. Imagine he's like the first MVP to win it that didn't make the playoffs. Hey man, 
Life goes on, man. All right. So. But we got joking with that one. <laughs> <laughs>